and welcome back to the PBIS Rewards Discovery Series. Let's quickly review our Social Emotional Learning or SEL feature in the system. We are here again in our groups page because most staff members will spend the majority of their time here in that groups tab. And the first thing I want to do is select a student that I want to submit an SEL status check on as a staff member. And I'm gonna come right up here to this icon that looks like a heart with a check in it. Once I select that, I'm going to come down to submit an SEL status. And with this screen, it gives me the options that my school has established for students. I can add, pick from any of these three. And if I'm not sure the differences between them, I can come over to this SEL guide to look for further information. My student right now is more in the stress category because he missed the bus today. So I am going to put that in the notes in the comment section. And now I'm going to click submit and verify that. And now that student's SEL status has been updated. So this can be done from the groups page where we are. It can also be done from the reward page and also from the SEL check tab here on the left-hand side. If you are using our staff app, you can also check a student in with the SEL check on your mobile device using the staff app. Let's look at it now from the student side if they were logged in to the web portal. So here for our student Blake, he has logged into the web portal and he has this option here to click on, how do you feel? Once I select that, it brings up those same options for that student giving them a little additional information on those. And once that student selects the status of how they feel, it gives them a chance to verify that and saying, yes, are you calm? And giving them the descriptions, they can click yes or no. If they select no, it'll send them back to make a better choice. And then if not, they can choose yes from this list as well. And then for the students, they are only going to see their SEL history that they have submitted. They will not be able to see those from staff members. And now we can see this option here is going to be grayed out for that student. It will turn back to green when the time limit has been reached and the student can submit another SEL status check. So as far as staff members that can see the different SEL checks, that is going to be a setting for those that have administrative rights. So check with those people. We also offer de-escalation strategies on the student side. If they check in on those different levels that that would be helpful with, and it offers the students ways to de-escalate and go back to a lower level on those SEL status checks. Thank you so much for joining us today in our review of SEL. It is our final part of this phase three, and we look forward to helping you in the future more with PBIS Rewards.